hello everyone and welcome to my channel my name is michael and today i'm going to teach you how to create a very very smooth and cinematic slow-mo just like this slow-mo has been around for a very long time it's popular in film genre is popular and is the foundation or the backbone of music videos it's popular in documentary to mention just few there are two things you should never do if you want to achieve a very small slow-mo number one never shoot at 25 frames per second when I was in a film school in Nigeria we were taught that if you want to achieve cinematic shots shoot at 25 frames per second which is correct theoretically but if you want to achieve slow-mo 25 frames per second is not good enough because what slow-mo does is that you reduce your rushes speed by 50 percent and 25 frames per second means that 25 still images mixed together to create a second video when you take that down by 50 percent that means you have 12.5 frames per second which is not good so when you shoot at like 50 frames per second when you take it down by 50 percent you have 25 frames per second and number two never convert any rushes that is shot with less than 50 frames per second never convert it to a slow-mo to achieve a smooth slow-mo these are things you need to do you need to get a camera that can shoot at minimum of 50 frames per second or 60 frames per second so that when you reduce the speed by 50 percent you get 25 or 30 frames per second number two ensure your shutter speed is set to double of your frame per second if you shoot for instance at 60 frames per second make sure your shutter speed is at 1 over 120. so now that you have your rushes done or you've gone out to take some shots and all of that let's go and do the magic open up your adobe premiere pro and uh, create a new project rename it to whatever you like for me i'm going to rename it to slow-mo say okay the next thing you want to do is to create a new sequence i'll choose 24 frames per second because i'm used to it and um, i just love it so i don't have any scientific reasons why but i love it so okay rename it to slow-mo and click okay so the next thing you want to do is to import your rushes or your footage after importing your footage right click on the footage and click modify select interpret footage and change use this frame rate to assume this frame rate and change the number to 23.976 which is the same as my timeline and say okay now double click on the footage and play back to see how smooth it is you see fantastic okay just to demonstrate i'm going to cut some part of the footage and put it on my timeline and uh, put another one to see how smooth the transition and how beautiful the slow-mo is it's very slow because i shot as 120 frames per second and i slow it down to a quarter of the normal speed which is the reason why is this slow uh, i hope this is clear so let's go into davinci resolve okay so open up a davinci resolve create a new project okay and then make sure that your frame rate is set to 23.976 which is what i do if you prefer at 25 frames per second do it put it at 25 frames uh, if you prefer 30 frames put it at 30 frames but i prefer 23.976 Import your footage. Then right click and go to clip attribute. Select video and change the custom to 23.976. Then click OK. Go to edit and double click on the footage. Play back to see how small it is. So you can actually achieve the same result using both Adobe Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. So that is that for today. If you like this tutorial and you would love to see more of this, please subscribe and like, share and comment. If you have any questions, feel free to drop some line in the comment section below. Thank you and see you some other time. Bye for now.